And the group provides citizen patrollers through six different neighborhoods in the city. 10 TV's Tara Jabor joins us live tonight from a neighborhood near the Ohio State University. Uh, Tara, when do they typically start these patrols? We're talking about community crime patrols here. Andrew, that's right. The community crime patrols typically start at 6 o'clock at night and go until 3 in the morning. Though the nonprofit said that they do more than just identify crime, they work to improve the quality of life in each neighborhood. Green jackets with the letter CCP make community crime patrol noticeable when they are out patrolling. The patrollers are in neighborhoods looking to help people. The criminal activity, suspicious behavior, um, burned out street lights, water leaks, anything that impacts the quality of life in a neighborhood. Ellen Moore Griffin, the executive director, says patrollers work in pairs. She believes their role is to be that added security that makes people feel more comfortable in their neighborhood at night. They're just extra eyes and ears. And, you know, when you can have somebody out there who's who's looking out for things that maybe are happening when you're in your home or asleep, uh, you know, it's it's a and it's an extra layer of security. The patrollers are in six neighborhoods, including Marion Village, the Hilltop and around Ohio State University. In February, around OSU, the nonprofit had 14 assists and made 25 environmental reports. In Marion Village, they had eight assists and 23 environmental reports. Chuck Jones, who lives in Marion Village, says he sees patrollers all the time. We have kids moving back in the neighborhood finally, and anything we can do to make our neighborhood safer, uh, for families, for everybody, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. Jones says having patrols around when he's at home or asleep makes him feel more comfortable. Criminals don't like to be watched. They don't like to be seen. Abigail Reeder, a student at OSU, says she appreciates the extra security. Um, it makes me feel pretty good because I feel like there is a lot of crime in Columbus and there is a lot of crime on campus and I do get scared like walking around by myself. Although the patrollers aren't armed, their presence makes a difference for some knowing that help is right around the corner. You know that there's help not far away if, if something were to happen. Now the executive director says that 90% of their funding comes from Columbus City Council. Reporting live in Columbus, Tara Jabor, 10TV News.